Here we are looking south at the old, still open excavation of the Sioux Drain, Earth House or Cave. Once within the structure, we progress to the northern terminus. Unlike many open Sioux Drains, this one still has a roof in situ. The opening dug into the south gives easy access to the underground structure that ends in a rounded apse-like terminus. The passage walls corbel in from each side to help bridge the gap that is spanned by the large, well-fitting roof slabs. The retreat from the elemental exterior into the subterranean structure gives a sense of separation and an expectation of purpose. The contrast between the sky and roof, both missing and present, gives insight into the exterior and interior, with thoughts about the safety and seclusion created in this structure. Safety from harsh climate, from attack, maybe even seclusion to gather stores and to preserve seeds, or to gather thoughts and to preserve traditions, in a place where it is possible to generate controllable experiences. It seems natural to look up to the sky and down to the ground, generating links between the above and below as we find it and as we experience it. The passage available today describes a letter U shape. The northern entrance is very compact looking, like an unusable creep passage from a fogu. The imposing inner lintel looks like part of an impressive internal frame. Some of the roof stones seem patterned, some not. The whole experience of this place is of having a hidden retreat that was once kept secret and now is shrouded in mystery with too few clues to reveal its age and purpose. Yet nothing left unknown can take away from the inspiration that this site so readily arouses.